one of the things we have to keep in mind when we're talking gene expression is not every protein will be an enzyme okay there are structural proteins there are regulatory proteins so we have to keep in mind that it may have started off as one gene one enzyme which thanks to beetle tatum we now know you know it became the one gene one protein and in modern molecular biology when we look at it we recognize that mature proteins complete proteins are actually components as i said of multiple polypeptides so we now state it as one gene one polypeptide but how do we get that polypeptide you can't just immediately read the dna and make a protein there's some work in between this is where that rna comes into play transcription is the act of using dna as a template and making an rna copy specifically messenger rna many students in previous semesters have had trouble keeping transcription and translation keeping those words straight when you transcribe something you are copying it word for word but when you're translating it you're taking it from one language and writing it down in another DNA making an RNA copy of DNA is nucleic acid to nucleic acid transcribing copying reading the messenger RNA so that you can make a amino acid chain known as a polypeptide that is going from nucleic acid to amino acid you are translating from one language to another why do we need messenger RNA well the messenger RNA is kind of a buffer okay you want to minimize any direct action by proteins or enzymes with the DNA strand so you have to have an intermediate that's messenger RNA in prokaryotes as soon as the messenger RNA is being transcribed it will immediately start being translated the copy of the one gene or multiple genes will be made so that it can immediately be read to be translated into polypeptides for us eukaryotes we have that pescular nuclear envelope So what we have to have is a way to get the information from the chromosome locked away in the nucleus, get that information through the nuclear envelope into the cytoplasm where the ribosomes are. That's where messenger RNA comes into play. Messenger RNA is delivering the information to the ribosome in the cytoplasm. So when you look at compare bacterial cell wall cell to a eukaryotic cell many of the words many of the mechanisms are quite similar what's going to be different geographical location in this all in the cytoplasm in the nucleus in the cytoplasm and what we're going to see in the eukaryotic cell there will be a few extra steps a few extra things that will need to be accomplished but much of what we know about transcription and translation we have learned from first studying it in bacteria 
and then finding the similar, the homologous actions of the homologous enzymes in a eukaryotic cell. So we get the central dogma. DNA to RNA, RNA to protein. This is how pretty much all life on this planet exists. DNA will be transcribed to RNA. RNA will be translated to yield a protein. 